Spreadsheets are incredibly powerful, especially when it comes for teaching and data collection. So in this quick video, we're, I want to show you how to use a spreadsheet as like a gradebook and also to track diagnostic assessments. So we can see from term to term, from month to month, whatever you choose, how students are doing. So for this first one, we have a quick five task assessment. Maybe it's a math assessment, writing assessment, reading assessment, whatever. Um, and we're going to track 10 students in this. Um, and what is also neat to really make it eye-catching and visual for us is that I'm going to color code this based on the score from one to four. One being the lowest level and the student needs a lot of support to four being the student has mastered that, that topic. So I'm just going to highlight and select uh, all of those cells because those are the ones that we're going to change. And we are going to jump over to format and conditional formatting. So within here, we have the range of B2 to F11, which is what I selected, and we want to start creating the rules for that. So format the cells if our number is exactly equal to 1. We're going to change that value to 1. And since we said that uh, 1 would be the lowest level, we really want to catch it. We want the entire background to change red. So that way we know that that student needs some support. So that's just the first one. So now I'm going to add another rule in here. And you already noticed that most of it has already copied over as well. So all we're going to do, we're going to change this to two. Maybe two isn't as concerning and we'll make that a yellow, but still something we need to check on the students. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing for three. And we'll make three um, green, just a green background. And we'll say done. And then finally, one is equal to, we'll make this one four. And maybe for this green, we'll make it a darker green. Just so it's definitely catchy there too. So we have one, two, three, four. Always double checking my work here. Looks good. So now let's give it a quick test run. So for this first student here, maybe they scored pretty well throughout the assessment. So we're going to say three, and we can see that those numbers have changed. The color has changed. Maybe they didn't do well in that one. They did pretty well here and pretty well here. So we're going to do the same for student two. Just give them some rough values here, throw in a one. Maybe they did well in task three, task four and five. And then we can continue this on all the way down for all of our students. Okay, so now I have my data entered here. We can see all the color coordinating uh, there for us. And what's great about using spreadsheets for this is that just by looking at this, I can see a couple of things. One, a lot of students didn't do very well on task one. So maybe that's something that as a class we can fully review and we can use student one student seven and student eight as maybe classroom leaders for small groups. And on top of that, we also have data for small group instruction from student two through six, and also student nine and 10 could be a small group. Task two, a lot of students did pretty well, but maybe I do have a small group instruction group right here for student two, three, four, six, and nine. Maybe I can do one group or two groups. And then we have a couple of other data in here as well. So task five, Many students did well, but I have a small group here of three students that might need some support. So depending on how you want to use this data, what uh, the task was, now we know moving forward what we need to work on, what small groups we can use. So let's say this was the fall term. Now we're going into the, the uh, winter term, and now we want to do this assessment again. So since we already have most of this data and all of this conditional formatting set up, why don't we just duplicate this exact spreadsheet. So all of that exact same data just bumps over. Now to differentiate between the two, I had mentioned that this first one was a fall assessment. So maybe I'll just two finger tap on that. We'll just rename it fall diagnostic, just so I know that that's the two different ones. And then going back to the copy, same thing, two finger tap. This time we'll call this one a winter diagnostic. That way I can start my comparison. So now we did that diagnostic again. Now we can see the progress between the two students. So I'm going to start entering that data right now and see what we come up with. All right, so taking a look at the new data that I just entered, now I can compare. Here's our winter diagnostic. Here's our fall diagnostic. And we could already see we have less yellow and reds, 
and we have some more greens. We still have some areas that we need to improve on going into the spring's term. Now, thinking about using spreadsheets as a grade book, we can use the exact same idea uh, with our students here. So I made another tab here just for grade book. If I scroll back up, uh, I can see that we have some uh, four different assignments for this subject, our 10 students again, and then I also made a column for overall. So um, what we can do here is that perhaps we can uh, create uh, like an overall average between the four. We'll just assume that they're all weighted the same uh, and then we can have an overall average uh, for our percentages. So uh, if I go ahead and start entering some marks here, much like I did last time, so let's say something like 82, 76, uh, 80, and a 90, Something along those lines, we can do the same thing with um, student two. So let's say the student got 60, 72, and then so on. So I'll add those in, in information as well. Okay, so now that I have my data in here, let's get that overall average uh, set up. So going right at the top here, I'm going to start entering my formula. So in this case, what we want, we want the sum of all of those divided by four since we have those four assignments. So equals the sum of, and what's nice about Google Sheets is that it already entered that for us. So we can actually uh, go ahead and take that by clicking tab. I'm just gonna adjust that. So all we have to do left is just divide it by four. So now that's giving me an overall average and now it's giving me a suggested autofill. And that's the great thing about things like Google and even uh, Microsoft uh, spreadsheets is that they know that there's gonna be very common things happening. So we're just gonna accept that suggested autofill. So we have that all set for us as well. Okay, so now that all of that data is entered in there, we have the averages. Now maybe we want those same conditional formatting ideas um, for our averages. So I'm actually going to copy or select rather all of those there, pop over to format and conditional formatting, and then we can start entering the data. So if, we just scroll down to the bottom here. So maybe is between, so we're gonna keep it green if they're that grade level, if they're in that A, A range grade level. So if uh, the data in this info is uh, greater, it's in between 80 and let's say 100, because that'll be the most and the least, we'll keep that as is. So that starts to sort those ones out add a different rule. So same thing. So if data is in between, so now we'll think about that uh, B range group of students. So let's say somewhere between 70. And this is where it's going to get a little tricky uh, because we have to think about those uh, decimal points. So we'll just say 79.99. We're going to change that color to maybe we'll do a different color format. We hop over here. Maybe we'll make them blue for that one. Add another rule, same thing. This time we'll say between 50 and 69.99. So instead of blue, we'll make that student yellow. And then lastly, just in case, if we do have one that is below, is less than 50, then we'll make those students red and done. All right, and that's it. So that is how we can quickly use spreadsheets uh, for grades and diagnostic assessments. What I'll do, I'll even link uh, a copy of this spreadsheet in the, um, in the video description so you can have a copy if you wish. Please make sure to subscribe and like my channel and you can get more videos just like this one.